With the migrant caravans making their way to the U.S. border, Judicial Watch has sent a team to investigate that situation. One America's Jack Basobic breaks down the findings. One American News has received new footage from Judicial Watch from their fact-finding mission to the Central American caravan last week. In their interviews with migrants, they mentioned that just as President Trump suggested, there are people among them from all over the world, not only Central America. De China, había indios, había gente de, de, de Brasil, había gente de todas partes del mundo. In addition, many appear to be males in their teens and 20s. Other migrants reported their main reason for traveling to the United States was economic. Said that not all of them were fleeing violence, but that they were searching for jobs in the United States. In April, Judicial Watch released a report on the Open Society Foundation's activities in Central America and specifically Guatemala. This report states that George Soros and his foundation and their affiliates promote and advance a radical agenda that is progressive and seeks to destabilize legitimate governments, erase national borders and identities, target conservative politicians, finance civil unrest, subvert institutions of higher education, and orchestrate refugee crises for political gain. The Soros Network is engaged in an effective and ongoing effort to affect politics, economics, and societies across Latin America. Guatemala in particular has been subjected to an aggressive, insidious campaign of subversion and political manipulation that threatens the sovereignty of a constitutional republic and an ally of the United States. Soros, through his web of organizations in more than 40 countries, has promoted a radical globalist agenda in every corner of the globe. In the United States alone, this is included promoting an open border with Mexico and fighting immigration efforts, fomenting racial disharmony by funding anti-capitalist black separatist organizations, financing the Black Lives Matter movement and other organizations involved in the riots in Ferguson, Missouri, weakening the integrity of our electoral systems, promoting taxpayer-funded abortion on demand, advocating a government-run health care system, opposing U.S. counterterrorism efforts, and promoting dubious transnational climate change agreements that threaten American sovereignty, working to promote gun control and erode Second Amendment protections. George Soros and his foundation are expected to spend $570 million in 2018 alone, according to the report. And on a final note, it should go without saying that criticism of George Soros has nothing to do with his ethnicity as a Hungarian Jew. It has to do with his extreme left-wing politics. And these reports are outlining and exposing his funding. Jack Posobiec, One American News, 